The daring chief has warned President Emerson Nangagwa that he faces losing 2023 elections if he fails to rein in corrupt acolytes. Chief Nurini, born Ephias Munatawafa of Misvingo, made the utterances on Monday while attending a funeral in Misvingo Rural. In a video that is circulating on social media platforms, Chief Murini bravely accused Nangagwa of protecting corrupt cronies whom he claimed had impoverished Zimbabweans. Several government officials attended the funeral. Traditional leaders in the country are well known for their strong allegiance to the ruling ZANU PF party, although a 2015 High Court ruling prohibited chiefs from declaring allegiance to any political party. In the video, Chief Murini said the time could be ideal for another coup similar to the 2017 upheaval that ousted the late former President Robert Mugabe. We are fed up. We are tired of criminals. They grab everything including minerals, impoverishing the poor. Now they are targeting oil in Muzarabani. Ed, Nangagwa, is my nephew, and if he does not take heed of my advice, he won't make it in 2023, he charged. Ed has a very good vision, but he has criminals surrounding him. I don't know if we really should approach Zimbabwe Defense Forces Commander, Balirio Sabanda and ask him to repeat what he did. Zimbabwe has become a laughingstock in other countries. In South Africa, for instance, it is so embarrassing to reveal your identity. The gap between the elite and the low class people is so appalling. I am not proud of that kind of money. Give me nothing, strip me the chieftainship. I would rather be with my people and enjoy the sanity of standing for what is good. Chief Murini also warned children of politicians against corruptly attaining wealth at the expense of suffering Zimbabweans. ZANU PF spokesperson Christopher Mitsvangwa referred questions on the issue to the local government minister July Moyo. I cannot respond on behalf of the traditional leaders. The local government minister will respond to that. I am partisan and, therefore, cannot comment on the conduct of the traditional leaders. Dot Moyo said, I would not be monitoring the conduct of the chiefs and I would not be aware of what they do on the issue of political interference. Traditional leaders can reprimand each other and I cannot involve myself in that. Do I have powers? to preside over a chief. Efforts to get a comment from Chief's Council President Chief Fortune Chair Mbira were in vain as he was said to be busy. Political analyst Eldred Masanungir said Chief Murini's utterances were a manifestation of growing discontent among rural folk and traditional leaders. A chief is the most senior in the traditional leadership ranks. Their utterances cannot be taken for granted. Of importance is that a chief is a mouthpiece of his subjects. They speak on behalf of the people they lead, Masanungir said. What Chief Murini said is a manifestation of a growing discontent and despair in the rural folks. The chief exercised his constitutional right to speak, but which may be limited under the ZANU PF regime.